This is an option three sports medicine video. Uh, the key idea is how does sports medicine address the demands of specific athletes. Uh, and the actual dot point is adult and aged athletes. And the dash points are the medical conditions that uh, elderly people have to deal with. They include heart conditions, fractures and bone density, and flexibility and joint mobility. The student learn to on the right hand side um, ask you to investigate the sports participation options available for aged people with medical conditions. Um, so let's have a look at a bit of an overview of adult and age athletes and some of the considerations that are specific to this particular age group. Now this dot point is referring to adults to age 30 plus. That puts me in significant problem. Um, it's a really good idea, if you can in any questions on this, to make the link to the core one dot point a growing and ageing population. Um, getting adults 30 plus involved in physical activity is considered one of the key solutions to Australia solving its uh, problem of uh, ageing population. Uh, adults reaching their age of 30 plus are at increased risk of experiencing serious health issues. And those, some of those health issues are the three dash points for this dot point. And they are again heart conditions, fractures bone density and flexibility and joint mobility. Now the risk can be lowered if individuals participate in physical activity. Um, the recommendations for the amount of physical activity is 30 minutes of moderate physical activity on every day or most days. Physical activity participation increases muscular strength and endurance and also improves balance and flexibility. This in turn lowers the risk of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, osteoporosis and many chronic diseases such as arthritis and a bad back. Um, before commencing any physical activity program, adults should definitely consult their GP for a medical clearance, include an adequate warm up and cool down in all physical activity sessions and slowly adjust intensity levels over time. So some recommended physical, ac physical activity options for adults include the following. For aerobic type activities, um, actual aerobics classes or step classes are good, uh, certainly swimming which is a non-weight bearing exercise, tennis, golf and even dancing are particularly useful. It's also recommended that um, elderly people do strength uh, activities such as uh, body resistance exercises such as sit-ups, push-ups and uh, uh, tricep dips for example and also that it's highly recommended that some elderly people can go to the gym as well if the program has been specifically tailored for them. Flexibility and balance options include general stretching and yoga and Pilates. So the first dash point, heart conditions. Um, what we need to start off with here is from about the age of 30 onwards, the efficiency of the heart decreases. The heart becomes weaker and the vessels transporting blood become less elastic. Now the problem with that is when exercising the heart, it has to work harder to supply the muscles with oxygen. So this weaker heart and the, the vessels not uh, being such so efficient creates a bit of a problem. Because the vessels are less elastic, the pressure in the vessels is higher, putting individuals at risk of high blood pressure. Despite these risks, exercise is still considered an excellent protective factor in the fight against heart disease. And really importantly, it's important that physical activity uh, habits are started early in life. It's imperative that adults and aged people obtain a medical clearance before starting any exercise program. Exercise options that do not place the heart under too much stress include walking, cycling, golf and even lawn bowls. In the elderly, it's really important to avoid the heart rate going above 85% of maximum heart rate. So this means uh, elderly people should do be avoiding any form of vigorous physical activity. Next dash point is fractures and bone density. As individuals get older, just like their hearts, um, it, they don't become as strong and their bones lose their what's known as its density. That means they become more brittle and this leads to a medical condition called osteoporosis. When the bones become weaker, they are more likely to fracture and even with a simple fall. Improving balance in the elderly is therefore really important. Estrogen has, has become, is, sorry, is a, estrogen has a crucial role in maintaining bone strength in women. 
The fall in estrogen levels that occur during menopause results in accelerated loss of bone density, meaning bones become brittle far quicker. During the first five years after menopause, the average woman loses up to 10% of her total body bone mass. Sorry about that. Regular, regular exercise strengthens bones, particularly resistance training. Weight-bearing activities such as walking will also increase bone density, making the bones stronger. Finally, the third dash point, flexibility and joint mobility. Flexibility levels decrease as you age because tendons and muscles become less elastic, less elastic. As individuals age, they need to work on their flexibility, which is an area often overlooked in many training programs. Physical activity options such as Tai Chi, yoga and Pilates can, will, maintain and possibly even improve flexibility. Swimming and aquaerobics are ideal for maintaining joint mobility. It also allows light stretching to be done in a non-weight-bearing environment. Medical issues associated with becoming less flexible include arthritis, um, movement general, generally movement slows down, and loss of balance leading to falls. So that's um, a brief overview of the medical conditions associated with the elderly. Um, for more information, you can hit your textbooks.